friends, I'm out here today looking for another type of amphibian. Does this look like good habitat for a salamander? Not so much. Salamanders needed logs in a forest with water nearby so they can live in a moist environment. Salamanders mostly live on land under logs. They don't live in the water. Can you guess what amphibian I'm looking for today? Here's a little clue. On my book, Reptiles and Amphibians, it's on the cover. That's right, I'm looking for frogs. Hoppy, hoppy frogs, and maybe even a toad. What is the difference between a frog and toad? We'll examine that in this lesson. I'm going to take my net, and I'm going to see if I can catch a frog. Come along with me, friends. <laughs> ah, I got one, I got one. I can't believe it. And it looks just like the one on the cover of that book. I'm going to make sure my hands are wet so when I hold the frog, I don't hurt it. Check it out. I can't believe I got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> whoa. Whoa, look at it. That is a cool looking frog. Check out the smooth, wet skin. Look at how the eyes stick up. Oh, it wants to get away. This one is spotted. It's called a leopard frog. Whoa, won't that frog be camouflaged, jumping in the grass? I could barely see it. Look at this frog. Isn't it beautiful? Look, this frog has long back legs with webbed feet. Look, the back feet have webs on them so it can swim better. Most frogs live in the water. They spend part of their time on land, part of their time in the water. They're amphibians. Hello, leopard frog. Isn't it beautiful? Hey, first grade friends, the frogs in this pond are really hard to catch. Look how they blend in. Their green skin blends in with the green algae and other plants that grow on the surface of that water. So I don't even see them sometimes and I hear them plop into the water and I missed them with my net. I did get a couple I will show you though. Check out the habitat of a frog. Most frogs like the leopard frog and green frog I'm about to show you, most frogs live on the edge of a pond, puddle, marsh, or swamp, some type of wetland. Can you say wetland? I knew you could. Frogs need to stay moist, so they live in or around water. It makes sense, doesn't it? Frogs are really cool amphibians. Look at that habitat. Look friends, I caught another type of frog. This type of frog is a small green frog. They get very large in Michigan. Green frogs live in this pond along with the leopard frogs. Look at the smooth, wet skin. Look at the four legs. Look at his eyes that bulge up so we can see food and see predators coming too. Frogs are amazing amphibians. Time to let these guys go. Hey, let's see how they blend in when I put them in the grass. See you later, green frog. There. See how it blends in with the water plants? Wow, green frog, you look very happy now being in the water. Now this frog is in really good frog habitat, a place where an animal finds what it needs to survive. Wow, frog habitat includes both land plants and aquatic or water plants. I bet there are a lot of insects for this frog to eat around this pond. That's all part of its habitat. See you later, green frog. Enjoy your life. Wow. <laughs> I love frogs. Ribbit. Ribbit. Now let's see how the leopard frog looks in the green grass. I bet it'll be very camouflaged. Whoa, there it goes. You see it? Look at how it blends in. The leopard frog is a master of camouflage. Have a good life, leopard frog. I hope you find a lot of insects to eat. Eat the mosquitoes around this pond, please. There it is, leopard frog. I wonder, oh, there it goes again, wow. It hops further than a grasshopper. Notice how these frogs have smooth, wet skin, narrow or kind of thin bodies, and long back legs. Well, friends, that was fun catching those frogs, and I let them go back in their natural habitat. Friends, did you see the difference between the habitat of a frog and an amphibian like this, like the salamander? Salamanders and frogs have different habitats, places where they find what they need to survive. They're both amphibians, but the two I found today, the leopard frog and the green frog, they like to be on the edge of a pond or lake or a swamp. Frogs are so awesome. Hey, I hope you 
can maybe sketch the habitat of a frog, either a green frog or a leopard frog. And also, let's compare and contrast a toad and a frog. Did you know actually a toad is a kind of frog? Let's learn a little more about toads and frogs. Awesome. It's a little toad. It's an American toad and it came hopping by to say hi while I was making this video. Think about the adaptations that a toad has for survival. Think about that warty skin that has toxic secretions. So if an animal bites it, it tastes bad. Oh, it's even making some sound. Think about those bulging eyes, helping the toad to see an insect a little better to eat. Toads have adaptations that help them survive. Let's take a look. Toads have wide bodies, dry, bumpy skin, and short back legs. They lay their eggs in water, but live much of their life on land. Hello, first graders. Hey, do you know a frog's favorite drink? Why, it's hot croco. Get it? Croco? Croak, croak. <laughs> frogs don't really make a croaking sound, but they do all have their own sound. Hey, wasn't that fun looking at the frogs in the pond by my house? Now, I think you're familiar with a Venn diagram. A toad is actually a type of frog, but they have some differences and similarities. And that's what a Venn diagram does. Take a look. You're going to find out how a frog and a toad is the same, and we'll put it in the middle. We know that they're both amphibians, so I helped you there. And then we put in the rest of the circle, we put how the frog is different from the toad here, how the toad is different from the frog here. There'll be some words for you and some little words to move around in the text boxes, fill them in and put them in the right spot. The differences of a toad, differences of a frog, and how they're similar. Then, for the end of your assignment, can you create a habitat for a leopard frog? Remember the leopard frog we found in the pond? See if you can create your own habitat, a place where that frog can find food, water, and shelter. This is going to be so much fun. Friends, you are awesome. Keep up the good work, first graders. See ya. Ah!